In this video, we're going to cover the make to order workflow. We've already talked a few more details about make to order in general from the last video. So we'll just get into the specifics of the workflow for this video. Um, and also we'll be covering a little bit of information about the production status column here on the self screen as well. Uh, firstly, make to order workflow is the, is the idea of taking a sales order and pushing it into the production queue. In Katana, what you do with the make to order workflow is you take a sales order, you push it to the production queue, and then they become interlocked and related to each other. So as an example, the way to do this is you can either do it from inside of the sales order itself. So we'll go ahead and open up Mary's uh, sales order here. And you will see the item, which has its ingredients in stock. We can choose make to order directly from the line item. The advantage of this is it actually gives you flexibility of what items to push into your manufacturing queue in the event that your business does a little bit of both. So if a sales order comes in and one of the items in the sales order is something you keep in stock, you can send that out. You don't have to make it. Uh, if the other item is uh, make to order only, then you go inside the sales order, then you push the make to order button. On the other hand, if uh, you're mostly a pure make to order business and all of the sales orders always have items inside of them that are made to order, then alternatively, you can choose it directly from the production column right here on the sell screen by selecting make then make to order. And then what that's doing is it's taking that sales order and pushing it into the production queue and then linking it to um, the sales order and the manufacturing order simultaneously. So firstly, um, what's going on here? Well, you see that production status has now been pushed uh, directly to here where it says that it's not started. So this means that there is actually a manufacturing order that is linked to the sales order that is in a status of not started. Now the production status that you see on this section here where it says not started, blocked, um, done as an example is coming directly from the make screen. And that production status is visible here, not started, blocked, work in progress, whatever it may be. And also what I want to show you is that this is sales order dash six. And if we go into the make screen, you will see sales order dash six here at the top of the list. And it is presently in a not started status. Now, if your manufacturing crew is going to update the manufacturing order here where it's linked, then it will change the production status like so. But before we get into that, I wanna show you something that's very unique to Katana that um, will be a huge benefit for your business if you're a make to order company. So on the sell screen, uh, if for example, I was working with my manufacturing orders or sorry, I was working with my customers and a customer contacted me and said that they want to uh, have their order rush delivered, but there was the most recent, which came in at the bottom. Then you'll see that the sales order number six, which is lowest in the queue. If for example, the customer got on the phone with me and said, I want mine to be completed sooner. Can it be done? Then you can see an expected date of the 21st of December based on the fact that the link to make to order is lower in the manufacturing queue. So there's a direct relationship between the sales order that you have on the sell screen and the manufacturing order that you have on the make screen because sales order six is now down here. And if it's going to be completed on the 21st, which might be in conflict with my delivery deadline of the 17th, then I can just as well easily tell that customer, sure, I'll take a look and see what I can do. I push it all the way up to the top of the queue as a rush order delivery. And then immediately based on that fact that the sales order number six changed its position in the rank on the manufacturing list also has updated my production deadline to the 13th of December, even though my deadline for the sales order was on the 17th of December. So as you can see that the linked production order also has the expected state get transposed from the make screen all the way to the sales order list to give you the real time update 
that you can provide to your customer based on the conditions that your customer is demanding. So if, for example, you do have that phone call and you do need to get that rush delivery out the door from your manufacturing operation, you can change the rank and then have that linked order update on the make queue and then tell the customer in real time, I think I can get this get this out and finished in production by the 13th of December, even, even though what I currently see is that the 17th of December is our deadline. Would that be okay? And then the customer would be like, that sounds great. I appreciate it. So there is a huge advantage to the flexibility in your order scheduling that this provides to you in certain scenarios. And this is just one of those scenarios, how you have the real-time delivery of information that gets brought up to the sales screen so you can notify your customers of what it is that you can do for them in the event that that happens. Now, not just from a predictability perspective, but also from the real manufacturing perspective, live data feed is coming right from your floor people. So if you're using the pro package as an example with the shop floor functionality, then there's some things happening here. Firstly, if you are, uh, let's say in the process of manufacturing that item, which is for this cognac colored coffee table, and somebody starts the process here, meaning that the first um, task that's uh, being worked on is, is completed. I'll change this to work in progress. And then that will update your manufacturing order to a work in progress. Then this information will then also update directly here on your sales order list. And you might come across a situation where you want to find out which of my orders are currently in progress. And you can use our filters to satisfy that need to shortlist all of your work in progress um, manufacturing orders related to sales. So once that is completed, in addition to that, uh, once the manufacturing order that we have here is done, meaning that it has updated to completed, this information then gets transposed and the ingredients get processed, which they're removed from inventory. And in addition to that, the sales item becomes in stock and ready for delivery. In our next video, I'll just describe the relationship between make to stock manufacturing orders and make to order manufacturing orders with respect to the real-time planner.